Hi, welcome to Simple Tools with Denise. Today I'm going to show you how to do an activity with cotton balls and glue and a sheep coloring picture that you can use for two things. You can use it for a prompt activity and you can also use it for auditory memory and phonological awareness. So I'm going to go over the prompt activity first. Now this is for a stage three in prompt or stage four or you can mix three and four if your client is doing that. So what you need is this coloring sheet, which is available in my free resource library. Need some glue, something to hold the glue, and some cotton balls. So your target words for here are ma and ba and ah for on, and you can also use ba as in ball, all to do this activity. And if you're in stage four, you can also add in ooh for the glue. We go ooh, it's so sticky. More for more glue because the cotton balls suck up a lot of glue and you'll be putting a lot of glue on the plate again and again. And you can also work in baby for the baby lamb. So you just uh, squeeze some glue out here like that or let them squeeze the glue out. Yes, they will want to squeeze the glue out. I can guarantee it. Get some glue here. There we go. Practice your target words and glue it up. And you can even glue the clouds too. So you could um, practice the word up too for the clouds are up in the sky. That's how you use this activity for a prompt. Now let's talk about how you would use it for phonological awareness and building an auditory memory. I've got these carpet dots here. Now pretend I've laid these out on the floor. These are for stepping on. So one of the things I like to do is help kids remember a line, like a really short line like Baba Black Sheep, and then identify a word that is misplaced or a word that's wrong. So first of all, they've got to remember how the words go. So you model stepping on the dots, ba, ba, black, sheep. One word for one dot. And you're going to help them do that too, because what they will often do is something like this, ba, ba, black, sheep. And they don't separate the one word per dot. So they don't have that in their mind. So you can practice that and practice that and then when you want to, you can also have them turn these dots over like this. And on some of them, there's a little mini M&M. <laughs> some of them there aren't, of course. <laughs> okay, so once you've got that down, then you're going to mess up. We're going to misplace a word, say a wrong word. So you might go like this, moo, moo, black sheep, and ask the child, well, is that right? Does that sound right? And they go, ah, Miss Denise. <laughs> You know, you said moo moo and they really like to catch you in that air and they, they love to do it. They love to do, you know, moo moo black sheep and then they'll change the color. Moo moo purple sheep or no, ba ba purple sheep. Only try and change one thing. <laughs> um, um, you can also change the animal. Now you get a ba ba black duck, whatever. So that you're just catching the one thing that is wrong. And then when they're good at that, then I like to do this cotton ball activity. The cool thing is you can buy colored cotton balls. I think that it's great. I never knew that. So now you can practice messing up with say blue, ba ba blue sheep. There you go. And then it proceeds pretty much like the prompt activity, but you're just practicing getting a word wrong and putting in the color of the cotton ball that matches what you said. So there you go. There's two great activities with one simple coloring sheet and some glue and some cotton balls. Really simple and so beneficial. And you can find this free coloring sheet on my website, thespeechumbrella.com or on Teachers Pay Teachers, The Speech Umbrella. Thanks for watching.